Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today we are looking at preparing for a Bitcoin bull market. Now, I'm not expecting this to take off in the next few days or hours. I'm looking at it more from a longer term perspective, but we're potentially seeing some signs now. So what I want to look at today is what we could have improved on at the top last time through our Aprils and Mays when we were seeing the top come in and how we can implement that next time around by stacking our sats and our fiat currency. So I hope you're going to find some value from this. If you do, hit the like button down below right here and the subscribe button, bell notification. And if you are finding value from the content, be sure to share it on Twitter and YouTube and everywhere else. Share it with your friends and family. This has been a fantastic ride so far. So we've got no chance of stopping at the moment. We are going full steam in for the next stage of the bull market. All right, enough hopium thrown your way first up in the video. Let's dive in. Now, I was a little more excited than I generally am at the beginning of the video because I've just gone through and done the research on many of these cryptocurrencies. Some I'm excited by, others look like they're going to continue to fall, but we're preparing for the next stage. That's what excites me. I get excited at these times. Other people get excited at the tops when they're not making any sort of returns. All right. If you're looking for me to get excited and get really bullish, I do that at the lows. Next thing. The Investor Accelerator, TIA Lite is coming up. Make sure you have enter, entered your interest. Do it here. Link to this is down below. Name, email address. TIA Lite is our weekly updates for of the markets, crypto stocks, property, everything in the finance space. So if you're looking for a way to learn more about finance and investing, check this out. It is jam-packed full of content, the best out there, if I do say so myself. And of course, we have the TIA full membership. So this is by far the best value that we have. And it's full of courses, course material you can watch 24 seven and be involved with the Facebook community. So you'll get everything in TIA Lite plus all of the course materials to learn during this period when the market's a little bit quieter. So check out both of those link to this is down below. And for the TIA Lite, you guys, if you are signing up for this, uh, you'll get a lifetime discount being the first 500. So make sure you do that. All right. Let's have a look at Twitter. Now, I've put this post up, 15th of May, and this is what we're basing a lot of the video on today. I'm still very excited. Okay, <laughs> what I've mentioned here, now that you're stacking your sats, don't forget to take profits this time around. This is in reference, 15th of May, guys, 15th of May. This is about six or so weeks ago. This is in reference because we saw the markets increase. We saw them go up in their dollar value and their Bitcoin values. Then the market tanked in April and people were getting really scared, really worried that they missed the top and they wanted to take some profits and they didn't. And so this time I'm talking about, look, we're seeing the altcoins rise again, but Bitcoin had already topped out and it was starting to tank. This is just before the big breakdown. Remember the big breakdown was on the 19th. This is on the 15th. And so what I'm saying here is if you're looking to take some profits, think about now, have a plan, look at the charts. Don't be a fool and continue to buy in to these altcoins when they're at their tops. All right, so 15th of May, this is on Twitter. You can go back and check out the receipts, do your thing back there. A lot of comments here. Um, keep up the good work. Uh, people are saying they're getting scared because, yeah, this is the top. You know, want to wait for a $4 ADA. We saw a $2.50 ADA. Not sell out, I mean take profits. So some people are thinking about it. But at the end of the day, this was the top and people weren't really ready to be taking profits because it's the top and people don't want to take profits at the top. So... On the channel, recently we're looking at this video here, Bitcoin bottom signals, prepare to ride the Bitcoin crash bottom. And then the video that I'm talking about or from that tweet, this is even earlier on May 7th. This video here has all of the points we're looking at. This was looking at our safe zone of Bitcoin, essentially safe zone for alts. And the altcoins were uh, beginning to rise in their BTC and their USD value. All right, and that was where I was thinking, Probably time that I start to take some more profits of my altcoins. If I missed all of this, if people miss this, then they had this opportunity here. So this is sort of the patience game and we miss one sign, we get another chance. We don't generally get uh, like just one uh, loss and then we don't get this second chance. It's, the market tends to give us a second chance to test to see if we're going to run up again or not. In this case, we did not run up again. If you'd been following for those uh, those months, you'd notice this old uh, saying that I had here, key level for bullish momentum was 16,500. We never reached there and we crashed from that point. 
Now I want to mention some of the ideas that I've got here, two major things when it comes to preparing. One is taking profits, of course. Let's have a look at some indicators that will allow us to take some profits. And the second is being patient now and later. What I'm seeing with the altcoins at the moment is the potential for these altcoins to rise now. You know, rise up a little bit. I'm not saying this is the bottom and they're going to go to the new all-time highs, but we've been down for so long. It's just expected that we'll get a relief rally at some point. I think the curve is slowing, not flattening, but it's slowing and we'll still probably see some further downside, but I don't think it's going to be as fast as what we've seen in May. There might be some shakeouts, uh, quick days here and there, but in terms of the overall gradient, I think we're probably seeing the fastest and sharpest part of it so far. All right, I've got a plan and pay attention to what's coming up next. So when I'm saying here, patience, altcoins could pump now, but then they could trend down after that. So you'll get this pump and then this slow bleed out. You know, everyone buys this top again. I'm holding out, I'm holding out, I'm holding out, and they bleed out. Little capitulation, knocks all those guys out, and then we start to move again. I suspect that's gonna happen because it's what's happened in the past almost every single time on almost every single market. So why would now be any different? 15th of May, all right? That's a difficult one. So I'm gonna look at all these, all of these charts here, probably a couple more. What I have here is the 18th and the 19th. When it happens in real time, it's very different. It's very different to looking back on it now. 15th of May wasn't the top. So if you're talking about taking some profits near the top and you don't get the exact top, you get crucified online. You get told you're an idiot and you're stupid. Looking back, wasn't so stupid. I'm gonna look at that on about a dozen different cryptos in a moment. The 19th, then you're going to feel like a legend again because the 19th was that massive drop that just absolutely crushed everything. But before that, this the 15th wasn't the, wasn't the top, but Bitcoin had started to really and truly break down from that point. The next couple of things is a, a signs, signs of a bear market. So I've got here altcoins failing at their 50% targets, which we were looking at. We looked at uh, Cardano quite a fair bit during that period. We got a lot of good trades out of that and it began to break down. Weekly swings were beginning to break and Bitcoin not rallying with positive news. I've gone over it heaps of times. May 15th, that May period, Bitcoin, or earlier May, Bitcoin should be 70 grand, 80 grand. I see it winding up. I had to have been one of the only ones because I felt really isolated at that time thinking, I just don't know how this is going to go to 70 grand. And some of the better traders, which I'd been following some t for some time, were even calling 70, 80 grand. And I don't know. I, I was very speechless and I felt very isolated at that point because I just couldn't see it. Anyway, that's not trying to blow smoke up my own butt. I, that's just the feeling that I had at that time. And because the noise is so loud online saying it has to go up, you, you talk about it going down, you, you kind of get crucified. So you tend to want to just sort of be a little bit more quiet and just tell the people who are actually interested in listening at that point. So our fear and greed this was a plan to get in at some of these lows. Doesn't matter if we go to 20s, as long as we're buying the lows, because as this Bitcoin market starts to rise, which we've seen today, about a 7% gain, uh, you start to feel the FOMO. And these periods were getting us into the market, 32K, 31K, 33, 33, 35, 34, 37s. And we had an average price of about 34,700. So we're about kind of break even at the moment, 50 bucks, give or take, it doesn't really matter that much. Now to the Bitcoin chart and the rest of the altcoin charts. First, I'm going to have a look at the 15th. So I've got all of these circled on the charts. The circle, the yellow circle is the 15th. I'm going to measure these from their closing price for the day to where we currently are as I film this video uh, today on the 28th. So we are down 26% on Bitcoin. I take a look at the Bitcoin dominance. Remember why I've only been looking at Bitcoin and I haven't been going altcoin shopping. However, I do have a couple in mind, having gone through all of these charts, which I'm still quite excited by. Uh, the Bitcoin dominance is up about 16%. Remember, this is Bitcoin's dominance over the entire cryptocurrency space. And on that 15th, which is this day right here, sitting at around 40, 40.8%. Now we're sitting at around 47.6%. I suspect we might go a little bit higher from here, maybe 49, 50. Hopefully you get to around this 52, little pullback from that point. But the dominance is up. My money is safer in Bitcoin than it has been in, in, in altcoins. Generally speaking, the chart tells us that it's just straightforward. Uh, there's nothing else I can add to it because the data is telling me my money is safer in Bitcoin than it is in altcoins right now. Looking at ETH, USD, 15th. Remember this tweet here. Now that you're stacking sats, don't forget to take profits this time around. We're going to look at the uh, ETH and 
oh, sorry, the BT, the US dollar and the BTC chart. Major alts like ADA, DOT, ETH surging against their BTC pairs. DOT's been worse off than the others, but ADA's looking pretty, pretty strong. So ETH, USD, there's that point that I'm talking about. Let's take some profits. It's looking okay, but not sure. You know, we had a bounce here and I thought, wow, could this thing go any higher? And unfortunately, it reversed and took out that low. That's kind of the first sign. We're breaking down. Remember, we looked at some of these rules here. Weekly swings begin to break. Dailies break first, then weeklies. Alts are failing at 50%. Bitcoin not rallying with positive news anymore. Bitcoin getting to this point here uh, in this May period. Lots of positive news all in this May area, May area not going up. So this is the stuff that I'm preparing for when it comes to the next stage of the Bitcoin bull market and looking to take profits again on the altcoins 12 months, 18 months, whatever from now. But this is the time that I'm preparing and not waiting 18 months to start making my decisions at the top. I plan now so that I'm ready later down the track. ETH BTC. Now that I've got all that out of the way, I'll run through these a little quicker. Not bad. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to get this on every chart and you'll see that I, I don't. But ETH, one of my major positions, I'm more in tune with these markets than I am with others because I follow these more closely. ETH, that's the 15th. That is literally the top on the BTC pair and it closed lower. I'm talking about taking some profits. ETH, it's one of those ones that I'm happy holding and I'm not saying that I'm selling this one. So even though I called 15th as being a good time to be taking some profits, ETH, I'm not so interested. I took a little bit because I just want to have some play money to play with while the market's down. All right, I'm not taking out huge amounts to be reinvesting because ETH, I'm pretty happy with holding and looking at it from that point, this is the BTC pair. I'm only down about 26%. Some people say that's massive. This is cryptocurrency. This stuff drops 70, 80, 90%. So 26% is like 5% in the traditional markets. You know, it's it, all I'm trying to say here is it's kind of like nothing. Um, so right now I'm pretty okay with it. I've been saying I still think it's got a little further to fall. It is starting to slow. I wouldn't um, be so surprised if I saw a little bounce here, maybe to six percent maybe further just to come up and test these lows again before it keeps trickling down but it's starting to slow it's not this fast like that's a speed of the market falling and now it's falling a little slower and then i suspect it'll fall fall more and more gradually and that applies to many cryptos not all but many of them that's just the way the markets work ada usd if you are holding some ada you can start staking it tia pool i've got a video in the description down below that you can learn how to stake your cardano to earn uh, interest annually. Cardano 15th is this bar here. Some videos on the channel talking about taking some profits. We're only down about, well, I mean, 40% sucks. But again, this is cryptocurrency and ADA has been holding up reasonably well compared to the rest of the market. I'm not saying this is a low, as I've said many times before, but it potentially we could go a little bit further on ADA and uh, it's just, it is what it is. I'm still not seeing a breakout because we just don't have that getting broken just yet it's quite it's it's quite solid there but looking at a to btc we're only down about 18 percent since the the 15th that's pretty strong and we're well and truly above the 50 percent level remember what i'm talking about we're also breaking at 50 percent of ranges and then 50 percent of uh, range resistance cards as well so our fib levels that we look up and then our range resistance cards cardano is looking strong this is one of those tokens one of those cryptos that i would be looking at purchasing if I see a base begin to form before other cryptos. Like I said, I'm not going alt shopping, but ADA is definitely high on the radar considering how strong it has been holding up. Binance, it is down 50% from the 15th. So again, that's the call from the tweet. Down around 50%. 50 it's below the 50% level. It is starting to find some support at the previous um, uh, re uh, yeah, reaccumulation zone before it took off to its last top. Potentially it could break further. I'm just pointing out the obvious here that you can see it's starting to hold up and we're also on our 61% level, which is a good sign. BTC value for Binance, pretty strong. 31% down. The 15th, again, that was the absolute high. I mean, 15th was a pretty solid day and Bitcoin was falling, but the alts were just at their absolute peak, the majority of them. Down, but it's still strong against Bitcoin at the moment. So we haven't lost too much value there. Doge, wiped out. You know, it, its top was Saturday Night Live, the exact top. 15th is around uh, this middle point here at about 50 odd cents. And now it's down 50% dollar value below its 50% level. And it is 33 odd, 32% from its BTC value. Still above 50%. Interesting. Chainlink, one of the 
lesser performers. And I was reading a couple of comments, people saying, why would you ever sell Link? I'm not saying I would sell all of it. There is a potential sign that the market is showing, not me, it's not an emotional thought here. The market is showing me that it's potentially has the, um, again, potential, has the potential to break down from these lows. And in the, if that's the case, then I would suspect it would lose more BTC value because it didn't get anywhere near its all-time highs, which is August, against its Bitcoin value. And so I'm better off holding Bitcoin than I am holding Link. Link will still go up in its dollar value, but so will Bitcoin. And if it's falling in its BTC value and Bitcoin's going up in its USD and Link Chainlink's going up in USD, then Bitcoin's going to be outperforming it. I hope that makes sense. I know many of you are getting that, which is fantastic. And I'm enjoying reading your comments down below now that you're figuring out how to start checking both of these different charts. It's something that uh, new investors don't do. And it's a difficult thing. It's, it's a new skill to learn, to understand both sides of the chart. You want to reduce your risk and make life easy. That's why I look at Bitcoin, all right? That's the early stages of the cycles, which we've looked at with the altcoin cycles, uh, those four stages, you know, Bitcoin, majors, miners, meme coins, and the cycle continues to repeat. I think we're in the Bitcoin stage at the moment, and the charts are definitely showing me that. With Chainlink down around 40%, there is the 15th, pretty much near its high against Bitcoin value, got slogged at the 50% range value, which is a GAN rule. It just, it just helps us learn which ones, which stocks or assets are weaker. Chainlink USD, there's the 15th, way up the top here at around $42. And it's just fallen since that point beneath the 50% level. A little weaker than the rest. Matic, not too bad. There's the 15th. It did take off for a couple of days. And this one sprung around, but it is starting to fade again. And we're down 30% on USD from that point. We are pretty much break even on the Bitcoin value. All right, but I'm not thinking that we're going to go up um, further on the Bitcoin value for Matic because it, it peaked a little later than most. And on top of that, I think it still has some more time to fade out. It had such a strong run. I expect a, a bit more of a fall from there. Things can change. I'm going to keep watching it, but Matic's not one that I'm looking to buy just yet. However, Solana is different. Solana, 28% down from that 15th area. Uh, it's had a reasonable recovery. It's still hovering around the 50% zone, which is a good sign. As you've seen, some of the others are under their 50s. And Sol BTC, dead on the same as it was on the 15th. So we haven't lost any Bitcoin value from that post. So uh, taking profits on Solana wouldn't have been necessary looking at it from today <laughs> in the 15th because it's basically back at where it was there. That's strong in my opinion. And like I mentioned earlier, there are now some alts which I would consider beginning to dollar cost average into. Solana is one of those. Cardano is potentially another, but Solana looks a little stronger here. ETH potentially another, but I'm still waiting on that. Now, Serum is a Solana project uh, in, in that Solana ecosystem, and that stuff is being quite hot. This is one that I did talk about a fair bit, but it just didn't play out during that period because it started to take off late into the altcoin season cycle. 15th is around this point here. It broke down. I had to get out. I think it was about a break even because I managed to get in through this area and then it started to fall. So some sold out at this level, some sold out. This level ends up being break even. No big deal. I'm just waiting for a low to come in and then I can buy some more. Serum and Bitcoin down heavily, 50% loss of Bitcoin value. So I still don't see a low coming in just yet. So I just have to wait this one out, but it's definitely on my radar. Going to continue to watch. V chain, big one that is always asked uh, about. Another big loss, 55% from the 15th. And I remember people asking me about it here and it was starting to pick, pick up, but we had this big spike out on high volume and I just said, all right, V chain, forget about it, done. It's, it's going to crash and it's crashed pretty heavily and against its Bitcoin value from that date, down about 40% as well. So there's a potential little bottom here. Like I've said with many of the cryptos, we might see a bounce here to test some of these lows, maybe get a break above those, those little highs or this little um, redistribution areas before it tanked. You know, I'm expecting that because we've been down for so long now. Uh, but overall, long term, I'm still not seeing a final low or a final end to this period for altcoins against their Bitcoin value because I still think Bitcoin is going to, uh, when it does start its leg up, 
then it's going to start crushing the Bitcoin values again, even though the altcoin USD pairs probably going to look like they're, they're going up. So that is me preparing for the next stage of the bull market. I'm going to do more videos like this, more updates about preparing for the Bitcoin bull market. That's how I've tracked uh, what I've been doing, you know, I've got rules on how I trade the market. You can see them on Twitter. So make sure you are following over on Twitter. Lots of good stuff over there. And I can update the charts and the pricing so much easier uh, from following on Twitter. Just wanted to mention new feature for SwiftX. Because we're talking about altcoin and Bitcoin pairs, SwiftX now has swaps. So you can swap your cryptos with Bitcoin. So check it out. Learn a little more about it. SwiftX here. Uh, I've got a link to SwiftX in the description down below so you can sign up with them, get your 10 bucks of free Bitcoin. Now's a better time of free Bitcoin than it is at the tops. And then this can be, if you've also got other crypto exchanges, this can be your backup crypto exchange in case others go down during the crazy periods. So get yourself set up now. Prepare for the Bitcoin bull market, the next leg up of the Bitcoin bull market. That's the way I'm seeing the market. <laughs> let's let's hope it does. We all want it. We, you know, we're all hoping for it, but that's what I'm seeing on the charts at the moment. Anyway, this could take three, six, nine months from here. I'm not concerned because I've got a lot of work to do in the meantime. And if you're interested, like I mentioned earlier on, TIA Lite, check it out. Link is down below. Huge discounts for the first 500. Put your details down and get notified when we go live. And then also the best value course out there, membership. Amazing. Check it out. The Investor Accelerator uh, full membership also down below. Thank you guys. I've talked a lot. I hope you found a lot of value from it. Make sure you're sharing this online and commenting down below to other people who may have some questions about the content. Yes, I'll be down there too, uh, answering some of your questions, but I answer a lot of them on Instagram for daily Q&A. So make sure you're following me on Instagram and on Twitter. I'll catch you guys at the next video. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, bell notification icon, all the good stuff. I'll catch you then. Until then, have more fun to get more done.